is 11 p.m. on a Wednesday. I had a full day of work, pretty tired, but it has been on my to-do list to unbox and set up that printer that I bought during Black Friday. It was, I think, third, it was a 30 or $60 off, so it was a pretty good deal. And now it's sitting there and waiting for me to print something. So I hope that it comes with paper, otherwise I will find scratch paper or something to print. But I'm excited. I have lived here for, I guess, six months without a printer and I forgot how nice it is to have one, especially for someone who journals and I really like printing pictures and yeah, I really, really want. Also, I was playing around with the idea that when we go home this weekend, uh, like to California, um, on the way back, I can hopefully bring at least one of my silhouette cutting machines so that I could, so I can bring back the little sticker sheets that I made and yeah, I don't, I miss, I like those more than giving out the decal stickers. Um, but yeah, I guess I should have made a, eh, whatever. Plus, it's always nice to have a silhouette cutting machine around. And yeah, I think we'll be here longer than anticipated because of my job. But anyways, let's set up this printer. Hopefully it's easy. The first thing that I want to test print is a resource that I got from Job's journal for subscribing to his newsletter and there's it's a December 2022 like daily calendar thing so I can print that and cut it up and use it in a journal so that's what I'm gonna do okay let's hope it's not too difficult to set up I got the HP NV 6455E. It was recommended by Abby from Abby C and it hers is like the different number, but it looks like this, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I think I also have like six month trial for this instant ink thing. I have no idea what that is. But yeah. One, remove and discard all packaging. There's only four steps. Easy peasy, eh? printer paper so I just reused this scratch one so I can't show the bottom half of this paper but this print quality look at that that's actually really nice I think also it's nighttime so my eyes could be playing tricks on me but I mean I think it's partially fuzzy but not bad at all like for just regular printer paper I think if I had photo paper or um, sticker paper like a premium weatherproof matte one that I like to use for photos. I think it might be really good. All right, so the printer works well so far. I'm excited. Before I sleep, I have to plan out what I'm going to film tomorrow for our, a brand campaign that I was invited to participate in. And here is the package. Um, I'll do it during my lunch break. Luckily, that's like when it's pretty sunny outside anyway, so nice natural lighting, but so yeah, I got invited to partner up with Field Notes and um, create some content for them. It's going to do a reel and I just have to tag them in it. And they sent me a bunch of notebooks. I picked out a bunch of very cute covers. They should barely fit in my traveler's notebook. I think it might stick out just a little bit, but uh, that's okay. But I picked out, these covers are so pretty. Um, there's the Sign of Springs set with blue foil and there's embossing. The Great Lakes set, 
I love that blue. Actually, don't think I visited any of the Great Lakes, but maybe that's a more doable thing now that I'm on the East Coast. And this comes in a pack of five. I always love grid notebooks, National Park series. I picked the one that is Grand Canyon, Joshua Tree, and Mount Rainier. So my West Coast ones. And then this is what I'll probably film a reel for tomorrow. These are the vignette notebooks and they're grid, so I like that. But it's hard to see this circle here is cut out. So you can put a picture behind it and I think that's a really nice and fun way to like dedicate a notebook and have like a theme for it. So I at first was going to do maybe a December daily in one of these, but I think I might actually do like a coffee tea notebook and like decorate this with like all the drink beverage stickers that I have and I have a lot so I think I'll do that and I mean I have options to also do December daily in the other ones but we'll see we'll see I'll plan out that content and film it tomorrow and it's almost midnight so my Monday Tuesday Wednesdays aren't super interesting so that's all the content I could give you today. But I think tomorrow we'll go to some holiday markets and it should be a little bit more festive moving forward. We are going to California Saturday night, so we have to pack for that too. But yeah, I will quietly off camera think about all the things I have to do and I will see you tomorrow. to go to the airport and Brian just dropped this Christmas gift in front of me. Oh! Huh. I don't even know what it could be. It's like a weird shape. Yeah. It's a big candy. <laughs> it's a big candy. Brought it all the way back. Really? No. <laughs> I've ordered it. When people take them from Disneyland. In the center. <laughs> Subject lost. <laughs> <laughs> California safely there was a lot of traffic getting picked up so I think it's just a really busy season for the airport but um, made it back at like maybe 1 a.m. last night and we stayed up talking for a little bit till 2 so I think I'm already adjusted to, <laughs> to West Coast time I uh, woke up at like 10 30 here which is supposed to be like 1 30 back in New York but I don't know I think we're just very easily adjusted to West Coast time. So that's all good. So today we are going to drive up north to Sacramento area to go visit Brian's 
mom's side of the family, so like Brian's immediate family, his brother, his brother's wife, his parents, and I are gonna go up there to meet his cousins and their parents. And I think the plan is for a very early dinner and so we can drive back home before it gets too late and then we'll probably spend some time here before moving all of our luggage and stuff to Sandra and Chris's where we'll stay for the rest of the week. And I have to try to sleep early tonight because I'm going to try to wake up East Coast time, at least for tomorrow, just to see how it feels. And I hope it won't be too bad, but... Part of me wants to fill the time that we drive up with something productive, like editing, but I've been getting car sick or like motion sick often lately, like on the train or on a bus or uh, the car ride to the airport. I got like a little nauseous. I don't know why, but it probably isn't smart for me to do that today. But I also feel like I should fill that time with something productive because my to-do list is so long. Anyways, on that list is to get a snack before we go and took a shower already, so it's already starting off a pretty productive day. Brian's tree. Huh? You were born, and now this tree is very similar rates. Very similar rates, indeed. Oh, the fruit tree.
Because it looks the same as the hippo. Kind of does. And there's a cow. And a palm tree. Nice.